So today I'm going to show you an easy way to solve this problem. It's called repeated substring pattern problem uh, challenge number 459. So basically what we want to do is to be dividing the string by numbers. So we are going to start from um, uh, 2. We are going to divide by 2 and then combine these two and check whether they are equal. So basically, when we divide by 2, we have x1 is equal to a, b, c, a, and x2 is equal to b, c, a, b, c. And I'm going to check if x1 plus x2 is equal to s, okay? If it's not equal, we are going to go ahead to divide again by 3. And in this case, we are going to divide from here. So we now have x1 is equal to a, b, c, x2 is equal to a, b, c, and s3 is equal to a, b, c. We are going to check if the three are combined, x1 plus x2 plus s3 is equal to x. And anytime it's equal, we, we simply return true and then stop. So that's the approach we're going to use. So in the first instance, we are going to divide the length of the string by 2. We are, going, we are going to get the length of the expected substring. So in case of when we divide it by 2, we divide it by 2. And in this case, we have, um, when we divide it by 2, we have the expected length of the substring to be this. And we have the we have the the length of the, the the number of repetitions to be two okay expected length is simply going to be length over two and the number of repetitions or number of substrings you are going to be getting will be uh will be will be will be this actually will be uh one two okay so let's see how it actually plays out in code. I think it's going to be clearer when we write the code. And let's go ahead to write the code. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to get the length of the, of the original string. So I'm going to say int length is equal to s.length. Okay, now we get the length of the string. Okay. And we are going to start a for loop that loops from, because we are going to be dividing by 2, by 3, by 4, until we get to the length of the substring. So we are going to actually say for int i is equal to, is equal to 1, and i is less than length of the substring over 2 because we are going to first divide by 2 taking half half and we are going to do i plus plus actually i'm going to do it the other way around so i'm going to actually start from uh the bigger one to the smaller one so i'm going to say for i is equal to line over 2 so in that way it's going to return uh faster than when you start from the scratch so length over 2 and then we are going to uh, to i is greater than zero, and we're going to do i minus minus. All right, so at this time, we are now going to check if it's, uh, it was actually divisible, okay? Because for us to be able to get chunks of the string that add up to the original string, we're going to check if it, if it was in the originally divisible. So we are going to say, uh, we are going to say if, is divisible is so if if uh, the the length over two the length of two is equal to zero it means it's divisible then we can continue the next operation. All right. So what next do we do here? We want to get number of substrings that we expect. So number of substrings substrings to expect here is going to be Remember we said i is equal to line over 2. And in this case, we had i becomes 6. So number of substrings we are going to be getting when we are dividing into 6 places is going to be, is going to actually be the length over 2. So this is the number of substrings we expect to get. 
number of substrings we expect to get when we divide, when we throw an i is equal to 2, is equal to 6, is actually 6 different substrings. So it's going to be length divided by i. Okay. And we are going to now create a string builder that we are going to use to concatenate all the strings. So I'm going to say string builder sb is equal to new string builder. Okay. Okay. So now we have a new string builder sb and we now want to iterate, but before we iterate, we are going to get the, the, the particular substring that we want to concatenate. So there's a number of substrings we want to concatenate and the number of the actual substrings, I'm going to say uh, string, let me call it str is equal to, is now going to be s going from s dot substring going from zero to i. Okay, so we are now going to concatenate uh, all these substrings. This substring here, SR, we are going to concatenate it number of times, this number of times. And once we concatenate it, we are going to compare whether this concatenation, this string we built, is exactly the same as the original string, and then we're going to return true. So we are going to say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than, in this case, is number of substrings, so we can say num substrings, and then we say i plus plus, and I'm going to go down, and we are now going to say sb that appends, it's going to append this, uh, the particular substring, so let's see, so we are going to append, append the, sub, uh, the substring to the, uh, to the string builder, so the substring is str. Meanwhile, I need to kind of uh, put the declaration here. So this is going to be int and this is going to be string. Okay, finally, we will, if this completes, uh, if this code completes and yeah, so give me a yeah. So we are going to check here if sb dot to string dot equals if this is equal to the original string then we return true however if it's not equal to the original string until this loop exits we are going to simply return false okay sorry i may have mixed up a few things but this is exactly how it works. You want to divide the strings into chunks uh, right here. Get the number of substrings in question you want in question. Get the particular chunks here. And then use a string builder to add up all the chunks and check if it's equates to the original string. So I'm going to kind of reduce the size of my string so I'll be able to see the run button. So I'm going to uh, run this code now. Let me just make some room here. And we have error. So we have if, so this is Java. Um, sometimes I think I'm writing with Python. Uh, sorry for that. So let me run it again just to see if it works. Um, so variable i is already defined in the scope. So let's use j this time. So use j and use j and I'm going to run it again. cannot find symbol uh, one second sb dot to string so it's gonna be a function call to the to string method here and hopefully it works so this time it works I'm going to quickly submit it now and let's see what we have and as you expected it worked perfectly oh it gave us a wrong answer let's see um, Return false when it's true, return true. Let's see where we got some problem. J is equal to J's num strings and the i from zero to i. Oh, 
Okay, sorry. So this is going to be um, a flame mod two. So it's going to be lane mod i. Yeah. So I'm going to submit one more time. Okay, so you can see it worked and it gave 77.9% uh, faster. So I think we did a good job. I'm sorry I might have kind of mixed up things a bit. Uh, I've not written Java for some time. I've been writing in Python all this time. So please remember to just let me know something I can do to improve my lessons or my, um, my problem solving here in lead code. I'd like to thank you for viewing and please remember to subscribe if you find this to be informative. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.